Hey guys, Pro 1701, and today we're going to have a little fun and just speculate a bit about the unreleased collection seasons box sets for Doctor Who. Because in all of them that they've released so far, he, you know, the right hand is always used holding something, except for in 18 where he's waving goodbye. So I thought it would be fun to speculate about in the upcoming seasons what, you know, what thing he might be holding that's pivotal from that season or just, you know, pivotal to that Doctor. Um, cause to me it's fun to do things like this, just kind of imagine what might be coming and I like to speculate. Um, so with the first doctor, I think at least one of them, he has to be doing his famous pose where he's holding his, you know, uh, whatever you want to call that. I don't know. His jacket corners right here, his lapels or whatever, um, where he's doing that and he's looking all dignified and. I don't know which season. I think that could work for any season for him, one, two, or three. Personally, I'd rather do it season two or season three because I think season one, you could have him holding his cane because I think he uses that really only in season one. So you could have him holding his cane in season one. Or I've seen people suggest the fluid link from the Daleks. You could have him holding that. That's a good idea. So for either season two or three, I'm really big on his pose. Because that's, you know, that's iconic for his doctor. So at least one of them, he needs to be doing that. I don't really have any other more for the first doctor because I'm not as familiar with him. I've only seen about half a dozen of his stories. So that's really all I have for him. Moving into the second doctor where I'm more familiar with, at least one season, either four or five, he needs to be holding his recorder. Because, I mean, his recorder is very iconic. That's probably the most iconic prop the second doctor uses is his recorder. And I don't think season six is good for it because I don't think he actually uses the recorder in season six. <clears throat> but I think seasons four and five, it would work really well. Uh, personally, I think it'd work good for season four. But since I, since, since I personally think season four will be the last one of his seasons they release, and they might want to have it on like an earlier season, season five it would work. Um, so say... Season 5 is the first story released. I can see them putting the recorder on it. Now, if they don't use the recorder for Season 5, I think a great thing for him to be holding would be either the little Yeti egg that controls the Yeti or the Yeti statue that can call them and summon them. Because that connects not just to one story, but two stories. You're connecting to Web of Fear and Abominable Snowmen. So that's a shout-out to two stories with, for, with just one item. So I think you could do the Yeti egg or the Yeti statue. Uh, for season four, honestly, I think that's the one you need to do, the sonic screwdriver. Did I write anything else? Oh, yeah, the mirror. Uh, somebody, I saw somebody online suggest he could be holding the mirror from Power of the Daleks, and the reflection could have Hartnell's face in it, because a lot of people have wondered... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> a lot of people have wondered in season four and season 21 if it'll just be one doctor on the front or maybe two doctors on the front, since they do tend to share seasons. <clears throat> you know, the first and second Doctor are in Season 4, and the fifth and sixth Doctors are in Season 21. Personally, I like the idea of just one Doctor being on the cover, the Doctor who's the dominant Doctor for that season. Uh, like, for instance, Season 4, to me, is a Troughton season, because Hartnell's only in two stories, and Troughton has the other seven. It's a Troughton season. Uh, and I really think only Troughton should be on the cover. But I like the clever idea that maybe Troughton's holding that mirror from Power of the Daleks and it's got Hartnell's reflection in it like it did in the episode. That's a really nice idea. Although, personally, I'd still just rather see him holding his recorder. For season six, I think he needs to be holding his sonic screwdriver because that's where we mostly see him use it. Uh, I know he uses it in Fury from season five, but we just got that in animation. You know, we actually see him use it in, you know, the real episodes in the Dominators and the War Games. And I think each Doctor that has a sonic screwdriver should have at least one box set where they're holding their screwdriver. So I think we, I think Season 6 should definitely have Patrick holding his sonic screwdriver. Moving into Troughton's era, I love the fact that Season 8 has him holding the dematerialization circuit because that was one thing I knew I wanted him holding at some point. <coughs> so I'm glad they went that route. Season 7, there's a couple different things you could do here. I could see him holding Betsy's keys as an outside shot, maybe. But what I really want to see is him holding the TARDIS key. Because the TARDIS key for, his, for the 70s era isn't the normal looking key like it is in the modern series. It's a very unusual looking key with flat 
wide. It's the same key they use in the TV movie with Paul McGann. It's very alien looking, and for Doctor Who fans, it's very recognizable. We know what it is when we see it. And that actually does play a part in Spearhead in Space because he has the spare key tucked in his shoe. And when he's in the hospital bed, you know, he's really quick to grab his shoes and tuck them in with him in Spearhead. So I, I think for Season 7, that's what I want him holding is his TARDIS key. Uh, season 9 is a little trickier for me. I mean, he could be holding the laser pistol from... <coughs> <coughs> from um, Day of the Daleks. <clears throat> I don't think they would go that route just because I don't think they would put the, put the doctor holding a gun on the cover. Even if it's a laser gun, I don't think they'd put that on the cover. But they could. Or, you know, uh, you could have him holding a glass of wine from Day of the Daleks or a bottle of wine. I've heard people suggest that. That's a good idea. I think if there is one season where you could have him holding like just a little glass of wine, it'd be classy. I think season nine's a good season for that. Uh, season 11 is of all the ones on this list this is the one I'm most certain of needs to happen season 11 I know how I have it I have it mapped out in my head you have to go with the Metabilis 3 blue crystal it has to be that there's nothing there's no reason to put anything else there uh, Lee Binding Metabilis crystal and he's probably already sitting there thinking I'm on it <laughs> because that's what makes the most sense that the Metabilis 3 crystal is such a pivotal part of his final story Planet of the Spiders that, that, that I think that's what you have to go with. And I think blue should be the dominating color for that cover. I think the lettering should be in blue, or the background should be in blue, but blue should be the dominant color. Much like how the green death is an important part of season 10, and there's a lot of green running through it on the cover, I think blue needs to be the dominating color for the season 11 one. That's the one I'm most certain of that I want. Moving into Tom's, uh, era. Season 13 is really hard to pick. Really, the only thing I can come up with is the crinoid pod from Seeds of Doom. And you have to, of course, put a little frozen snow on it because it has to look like it's still frozen and not about to hatch. Because he does handle it when he goes hunting for that second one. And season 13 is a very serious season, so I could see him holding something like that, even though he doesn't usually hold dangerous things on the cover. I mean, you could put his yo yo in his hand he used from the beginning of Seeds of Doom. I don't really think that works. I can't think of a lot from season 13 to pick from. I've wrapped my brain on it, and I really can't. Uh, so I'm going to go with the crinoid pod. It's the only thing really clicking in my head. And then moving into the Williams era, <clears throat> I'm going to jump around a bit and start with 16 because it's the one I'm most sure of. There's a couple different things you could do here. You could have him, because season 16 is the key to time season, uh, you could have him holding the tracer, the little tracker that they use in it to track the pieces. And that probably might be the first thing people think about is the Tracer, and I'd be fine with the Tracer. Personally, what I like better is him holding a segment of the Key to Time. I don't want him holding the whole thing, because I think it's too big to hold in one hand. But him holding a piece of it is what I want. Because then you could, you could have it kind of glowing a little bit, and that particular color could become the main theme color for that box set. Like the writing could be in it, that color. The background could be in that color. Because I like that kind of magenta color uh, that's used. And they even use it in the DVD box set right here. It's right here, that color. Because that's what color the key to time is. And, you know, it, it's here on the side. It's here on the back. That's the dominating color on it besides the black is that particular color. And I think that should be the color. Oop, get that back in there properly. I think that should be the dominating color for the Season 16 set. Plus, if he's holding a segment of the Key to Time, because I don't think they'll put Key to Time underneath Season 16. Like, I don't think they'll write, you know, the collection Season 16 and in smaller font, the Key to Time. I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll just write Season 16 just to keep it, you know, looking the same for a uniform look because you don't want to mess with people's OCD. So that'll be a good way for people to realize, oh, hey, he's holding a segment of the Key to Time. That's the Key to Time season. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what that one is. So, while I'd be fine with the tracker, I think he should be holding the key to time segment. Now, moving into season 17, I'll come back to 15. Season 17, to me, this is Tom's most comical season. If there, if there is a season in his run that's campy, it's season 17. It's easy the campiest season. So, I think if you're going to give Tom any season where he has his, his Tom Baker grin and a kind of silly expression on his face, 
it's 17. And you need at least one Tom Baker cover with his smile on it because he has such an iconic grin, such an iconic smile, that I think you give it to season 17. And there's several things you could have him holding. And I think he needs to be holding something a little sillier, more comical in it. Like, for instance, the Jelly Babies. You could have him holding his Jelly Babies. Because I think either 17 or 15, he needs to be holding the Jelly Babies. Because the Jelly... The Bag of Jelly Babies is such an iconic part of his doctor and is so tied to his doctor. And his most common catchphrase is probably, would you like a jelly baby? So I think he needs to be holding that at least one season in this range. And to me, 15 or 17 make the most sense for that. Personally, I'd rather see 17. It just fits. If you don't do it in 17, then I think you should have him holding maybe the marker that he uses for City of Death when he writes, you know, this is a fake on the boards. Uh, because I really think if he's going to be holding something, it should be attached to City of Death or Shada, because those are the two strongest stories from the season, and they're both amazing stories. City of Death rightfully gets the credit it deserves, and I think Shada's vastly underrated. It's a very good story. So I'd love to see him holding the marker, because a lot of fans... If we see the 17 box set, we know 17's campy. So if we see him holding the marker, it's going to give us a chuckle because we get that it's silly. But if you want to go a little more serious, you could have him holding the book from Shada, the, the book that opens the door to Shada. You could have him holding that because he does have it at, at one point in the story. And it is a naturally a pivotal part of the story. So if you don't go the marker of the Jelly Babies, the book from Shada is perfect for that. And season 15, you, again, you could do the Jelly Babies. He does eat the Jelly Babies a lot in season 15, so you could go the Jelly Baby route. If you don't go the Jelly Baby route, I think he should be holding K-9's dog whistle because season 15 is K-9's first season, and K-9 is, a part, a, to me, an important part of Doctor Who history. I absolutely love K-9, um, and he uses that whistle a lot. You know, I love that. So I think him holding K-9's dog whistle would be perfect for that <clears throat> moving into <clears throat> Peter Davison's time I think for season 20 and I'm actually pretty sure I'm right on this I think what he'll be holding is the the recall device from the five doctors you know the thing that looks like a yo-yo that he gets from the master and gets away from the cybermen with click sorry mustache and then vanishes I'm willing to bet that's what he'll be holding in season 20. Uh, I just honestly think that's what it's going to be, so I'm just going to go with that. Season 21, I am dead set on what he needs to be holding is that little vial of bat milk from the Caves of Androzani that has the life-saving milk to cure the Spectrox that him and Perry have contracted. I think that's what he's got to be holding in his hand because that is the story you want to pull from. I mean, it's... One of the best stories from Classic Who, oftentimes cited as even better than Genesis. Um, and I think he needs to look like the end of that story. Like, I think he needs to kind of look a little haggard. You know, maybe the hair's a little messed up. I think he needs to have that mud that's caked on his shoulder right here from where he's fallen over. I, I think he needs to be, and he needs to look like he does from the end of Caves on the cover. That's what I want to see. That's what I want. And I think that'll be perfect. And I don't want both doctors on the cover. I just want Peter on the cover. Why would you want to draw attention to the fact that Twin Dilemmas in the box set? That's kind of something you want to avoid. Oh, what seasons are on? What episodes are in that season? Ah, you know, Ark of Infinity. No, not Ark of Infinity. Whatever, whatever stories are in that one. Da, 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 da. The Caves of Androzani and Twin Dilemma. The what? No, the Twin Dilemma. The what? No, 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 Twin Dilemma. You don't want to draw attention to that fact. Uh, for season 22, I really couldn't think of anything, uh, but there's still about three stories that season I haven't seen, so I'm not quite sure. You could have him holding his gun from Attack of the Cybermen, that little, uh, you could have him holding, a lot of people suggest the Sonic Lance. Uh, I don't actually know what the Sonic Lance looks like myself, but I hear people saying the Sonic Lance. Maybe that is the gun he uses in that, I don't know. But the Sonic Lance, I'll go with that. I trust what other people say on that one. Uh, for season 24, I saw somebody suggest him holding his spoons. And I actually think that's a good idea. Because, again, I think with McCoy, if you're going to do season 24, you know, his doctor is much more sillier and clownish that season. You know, he wouldn't become more the chess master until the next season. So I think, I think on season 24, you give him kind of silly expression, you know, kind of clownish look 
where he's kind of smiling like he is on some of the covers of like DVDs and stuff where he doesn't quite have his ex serious expression yet. And then you just give him the spoons in his hand because we know he can play the spoons and it gives me a good chuckle. And then I think you have his umbrella somewhere because I feel like his umbrella is such an iconic part of his doctor that you got to have it. Like while he's holding the spoons, you could have it, the, the little question mark hook of it hanging off his arm right here or to bring the left arm into play because we don't get to see the left arm enough on these covers and as someone who is left-handed, I would like to see that a little more. You could have him, you know, his left arm kind of tucked right here with the umbrella question mark part hooked on his left arm right here. Just so we see it. It needs to be on the cover somewhere. Uh, and same way with season 25. You could have him, you could have it hooked here, hooked here, or um, you could have him just kind of holding it in his left hand off kind of to the side where it's not taking up a lot of space, but enough to notice it's there. And in season 25, he does need his serious expression. And I think he needs to be holding the microphone from Remembrance of the Daleks when he's talking to Davros uh, over the little communication TV. Back when he gives that great speech, unlimited rice pudding! You know, because that, to me, that's one of the best speeches in all of Doctor Who. I mean, he just smacks down on him. He destroys Scaro, it's, or he tricks Davros into destroying Scaro. That whole speech is just... Amazing. Enough to make you start taking that doctor very seriously. I love that bit at the end when he's like, you know, very, you know, goodbye, Davros. It hasn't been pleasant. He turns the screen on. Yeah, I'd love to have him just kind of holding the microphone from that with a serious look on his face, maybe holding his umbrella in the other hand. That would be good. And uh, I am going to go ahead and touch on the wilderness box set because I do think we need a wilderness box set. Um, especially if they're going to end up doing the modern series, perhaps in the collection, you're going to need that bridge. You don't want just a row that goes from McCoy to Eccleston. It would look weird. So you need that wilderness box set to kind of fill that gap. And the eighth doctor deserves at least one raise on the cover. So I think that's what you need. You have the eighth doctor from the TV movie. Uh, and there's a couple things you could have him holding. You could have him holding a sonic screwdriver. That's the first go-to. Um, you could have him holding that little bit from the Beridium clock, that little piece he takes from it. You could have him holding that. Or my personal favorite, you could have him holding his pocket watch like he does in some of the promotional shots, like that very famous one where he's holding the watch right here with that. You know, you see that one a lot. I'd love to have, that would be my pick. I'd love to have him just holding his pocket watch. I think that would be a good way to go. But if you don't go that route, then I'm fine with the Sonic screwdriver. So that's kind of just me brainstorming and speculating about what I want. I will be doing another video soon where I discuss what I want to see in the new series box sets. That sounds like a lot of fun, and hopefully we will eventually get that. So I'm Pro1701. Click the like button, click the bell, uh, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. Check out my main channel, Pro1701, P-R-O-W-L, uh, 1701 where I'll talk about all things Star Wars, where I'm currently reviewing The Mandalorian. And most importantly, stay safe, and thank you for watching.